Well, I guess we press X to start. Welcome to Game Taffy Plays Weekend Edition. My name is Ben Davis, and we are going to try this experiment out for a little while. There is no guarantee that a Weekend Edition will continue after this game. Uh, I have just been playing Bloodborne for... Man, how long have I been playing? It's seven weeks now? So we're getting close to two months of Bloodborne. And while I'm still in love with the game, the nature of this channel being uh, shorter content of 15 to 30 minute videos does not allow me to get through much of Bloodborne at a time uh, like other channels would. I just don't want to inundate you with hour long episodes my metrics show people don't watch my channel for an hour at a time. But I kind of want to check out another game, and that's going to be Valley by Blue Isle Studios. Choose a gender. I don't know how this will go, but I am going to say because Bloodborne I am playing as a male, uh, let's play as a female this time. Have something different. The life seat is said to contain an incredible earth-shattering power. While mostly written off as a myth, some archaeologists are still determined to track down the elusive item, luring some to incredibly remote locations. Hey, looks like I missed you. I just wanted to wish you luck before you headed out. I still can't believe you're doing this. I mean, hunting down the... what was it? The life seed? You gotta admit, that sounds crazy. I mean, even if this mythological thing that can shatter worlds or whatever actually exists, what are the chances of you tracking down this ancient relic in the middle of the Rocky Mountains? Listen, I know you want to prove the thing exists. I get that. It's an adventure. Hell, it's your career, but can't you do something normal like the rest of us and just backpack Europe or something? Spend a month in Thailand? But hey, if by some miracle you find this thing and become the most famous archaeologist of all time, beers are on me. I'll even trade in your tinfoil hat for a whip and fedora. I just really hope all those canoeing lessons pay off. So I'm thinking this takes place in the 80s, maybe... We'll say 87, 88. Control. And it does not appear that my canoeing lessons worked out. I can see my feet. That's cool. Ugh. Ugh. Wow, that look sensitivity may have to be adjusted. There, that's a little bit better. Ruins? Cave drawings? Where the hell am I? I can't really do a female voice, so I'm not even going to attempt it. Because uh, that would just be insulting. Are those cave drawings, or is that a... some kind of canvas? Well... And are those ruins, or... Rocks. I guess they are fairly shaped at the bottom of that one, so let's trust the narrator on this one. Well, why am I running? And where am I running to? Another piece of parchment.
This is definitely much more colorful than Bloodborne. <laughs> And the music is quite lovely. Usually I would turn off music for fear of a copyright strike, but I'd rather not monetize and allow you to hear this beautiful music than uh, try to somehow make money off of someone else's work and discount the tremendous effort that they made with that beautiful soundtrack. Valley. Ooh. This is interesting. Can I interact with these? Just as a quick little piece of background, uh, Blue Isle Studio, or Studios, I can never remember, also made Slender the Arrival, which was one of several Slender Man games uh, far more polished than some of the other ones, but maybe not as well known. These are quite adorable. What are they? Wow, hello. Achoo. That was a bad joke <laughs> with my look sensitivity turned down so much. What is this place? How hard did I hit my head? Oh, can I follow you, little one? Yeah, that's a very interesting thing. It kind of looks ghostly in the classical sense of a sheet of white fabric draped over it, but the little uh, antlered mask kind of uh, reminds me personally of Dragon Age, uh, particularly Inquisition. I know it's not the first thing ever to have masks in it, but, you know, it's just the association. An old army truck? Must have crashed here ages ago. Cargo Manifest, July 29th, 1945. The following items are to be stored securely at the Sector 6 storage and handling facility. One leaf suit belonging to Private First Class Edwin Hall. Twenty audio recording reels belonging to Virginia King and three bundles of documents. All right, so there are things to collect in this game. Wow, I don't know what a leaf suit is, but uh, hopefully Private First Class Edwin Hall doesn't miss it too much. Pendulum presents. Welcome to the Pathfinder program. As a Pathfinder, you will be tasked with operating and testing the newly developed leaf suit as our hard-working scientists at Pendulum develop new ways to empower our troops fighting the war in Europe. With the power of the leaf suit, you will be able to perform unimaginable feats. Very Fallout-esque animations there. You could make an argument that it's also kind of uh, reminiscent of Bioshock, which came after Fallout. Safe journey as you test the limits of this amazing new technology. 
It's very interesting how that was designed. Uh, almost looks as though your knees rest on a... Whoa! Now I have a compass. Virginia King. Audio Journal, June 4th, 1941. Shortly after the outbreak of war in Europe, I was enlisted by the army to study the history of this valley. The mysterious forest sprites seem to be the last living remnants of the long-lost culture that once lived here. A large number of them seem to inhabit the northeast sector of the valley, just past the ruins where the life seed, rumored to possess an earth-shattering power, was found. That's as good a place as any to study them. All right, so I'm going to the dig site, eh? Note from Virginia King, October 15th, 1944. The Northeast dig site is providing a number of clues towards the stone-cutting techniques of the ancient inhabitants. The pathfinders assigned to exploring this site have uncovered a wide array of tools that may have been used. With any luck, we can attempt to reproduce the methodology. Interesting. So I'm definitely not getting in through here, so let's go this way. Yeah, so let's take a look at this really fast. It looks as though what they don't show here is that there is a stilt, and it also doesn't appear actually on the suit, so now I'm second-guessing it. Your knee rests here, and your foot comes down ugh, into here. And then it has a secondary knee and its own ankle system. And I wonder what kind of stresses that would put on someone's knees. Since we're supposed to carry our weights on the balls of our toes, it just seems interesting. But let's move up and get a little bit further before we call it an episode. I'm trying to think too much about this. Well, apparently I have energy. Okay, can't interact with that, it seems. Archaeological excavation site, that away. Wow, let's try it. As long as I'm not missing anything. Here we go! Wow. This is fun. some ups going on here. This is fun. I like it. That was neat. Energy stored within the leaf suit known as Amrita can be given to once living things. So what's the dead thing? Oh, the tree. Wow. Well, there's lots of dead trees. Let's just bring life about. Live! You must live! I do not care about my energy being low. I shall bring life back to this forest. Once more, you shall house... Eh, eh, eh. Okay, you're not gonna house anything else. Oh. Can I steal energy away? Oh. 
collect enough ang acorns to gain access through certain ancient doorways. I want to bring that back to life. How do I get more energy? Can I... Can I have energy? Hmm. Well, sorry, Mr. Deer. You have run the course of your life. <gasps> I can absorb energy. Mr. Deer, I'm coming back! There you go, sweet guy. Well, based on the fact that you're kind of leaning to the right while you run, there may be a reason why you were dead after all. Well, the rest of this forest will just have to serve as food for the moss and fungus that uh, will inevitably eat it. Oh, I thought it was another animal. Another aminal. Let's go this way! Weird. Let's go back up. I seem to be getting caught in the grass for some reason. And I need to build up momentum to make this jump. There we go! Northeast dig site is still that away. Run with the deer! Oh. Uh, I ain't doing that. So I can take life, but I can also give it. As the music fades, I, su I suspect we are getting close. Ooh. Well, we definitely found the... Yeesh! We found some more ruins. Oh, what is that? It's like the fireflies react to energy. They certainly do. The army calls this valley Area 634. But I've ascribed a new word for it. Susurus. The beauty of that word seems to rival the majesty of this place. I suppose that would make its ancient inhabitants officially known as Sasurians. To think these ruins have existed here for so long. They predate any known civilization on the continent. They seem to have infused the life energy from trees into their infrastructure, but how? Running start! Whee! All right, let's call it, and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with more of this fascinating game called Valley. We will try to unlock more pathways by bringing life to those trees, and you'll just have to wait for tomorrow to see that. Thank you once again for watching Game Taffy Plays Valley. My name is Ben Davis. If you like this video, Please subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends. You can leave a like or a comment if you want, I guess. I mean, that's that's cool, too. Uh, and of course, at the end of this video, there will be a link to the complete Bloodborne playlist that exists now. So if you're interested in a totally different type of game, check out that playlist. Thanks for watching. <laughs>